Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got three colorful projects to share with you using the new limited edition Mother's Day You Mean the World to Me card kit. And this kit is so full of a lot of things. You get a stamp set, a stencil set. There's two die sets in the kit. Like what kind of kit do you get with you get two die sets? Forget about it. There's some alcohol pearl, alcohol inks. There's a whole set of Susie's watercolor cards. And you get a bunch of gorgeous pattern paper. This is by Paige Evans. And there's some foiling details there. There's a package of Heidi Swap glitter gems. There's some... Amy Tangerine puffy stickers and some Tim Holtz uh, sentiment stickers. These are cool. They look like labels, but they're sentiments and they're stickers. I'm going to start project number one using the layering butterfly stencil set. You know, one of my favorite things to do is ink blend. And as soon as I see a stencil, I want to ink blend. So I have a panel here. I'm starting with Hammer Mill. That's my new favorite blending cardstock. So I have a little panel of hammer mill cardstock. Going to be using some positively saturated inks. And I got Cheeky. This is a light corally shade of Cheeky. And then I think Peachy. Cheeky and Peachy. And you know I'm going in a very subtle rainbow order for this open butterfly shape. It's, I want it to be late. L late. I don't want it to be late. I want it to be light because uh, this is going to be the base of the butterfly and then I'm going to add more intense color when I lay on the second stencil. Okay, so rounded it out with a little uh, seafoam aqua blue at the top right hand corner of that butterfly. Now when I lift this off, look how dreamy that blends with the positively saturated inks on that hammer mill. You can forget about it. Now I laid stencil number two, which is all these little mini blooms in the same butterfly shape. I'm going over with the same color. So like a tone on tone, just a little bit heavier pressure with my hand. And this will be really, really soft and subtle as well. But you'll see that definition of the blooms on the butterfly. Okay, for the green, I'm using celery. And uh, for the blue, again, I use sea foam. So that's cheeky, peachy, lemonade, celery, and sea foam. By the way, everything that I use in this video will be linked and listed in the description box if you're watching on YouTube. Okay, for stencil number three, I didn't want to add any more color. So I pulled out some of this Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel. This is my favorite. It's just kind of a clear, iridescent. You just slather it on like cupcake frosting, and then you get off any excess. I use a little loose, I have an old, I don't know why I said loose. It's just an old gift card. <laughs> Words are hard for me today. Okay, so I scrape off any excess, and then you lift off the stencil and just, just bask in the glitz glitter gel of that texture and shine. Now you're going to let this dry at least 20 minutes or so. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go start working on card number two. So I pulled out a sheet of this Paige Evans pattern paper in that gingham pink, and I die cut this You Mean the World to Me die uh, out of vellum and white cardstock. And now here's where I'm going to judge it up. I'm going to take little scraps of solid color cardstock and trim them out so that each word in the sentiment gets its own color. It's kind of tedious, but I thought, hey, wouldn't that be cool if that sentiment was like really colorful? How do I make that happen? Well, this is how I'm doing it. So right now it's looking like a hot mess. I'm die cutting little scraps for each kind of row. And then I'm going to have to get in there and fussy cut just a little bit. It actually turns out to be not very hard at all. But having die cut the first one out of white gives me a base to adhere all these little colorful pieces too. Am I making any sense at all? I feel like I'm just talking gibberish. But hopefully watching me makes sense better than my words you ever just sometimes you can't make sense with your words oh it's been a long week okay and i'm um, using some glue and i'm just gluing on the solid color cardstock die cut words onto that white base and it's coming together i love this sentiment you mean the world to me i think it'll be great for mother's day father's day birthday son daughter you name it 
And I'm going to pop this up onto that vellum backer because dimension is life. And then, not that you have to, but I did put some slivers on the back of the vellum. And that gives you that great shadow. And it looks good on top of that pink gingham pattern paper. Pop this up on a white card base. And I, I just added a few little, these are back to basic gem stickers that I added a few white ones here and there just for a little kind of neutral embellishment. And that's the second card. Pop that out while I let the butterfly dry. Now, I wanted to frame the butterfly, so I die cut a cream panel with a circle die, and that kind of frames that ink blended butterfly. Popped it up on a white card base, and I was dying to use one of these Heidi Swap, what are they, little gem, they're just like little gumdrops. You almost want to eat them, but don't, because they're stickers. And then uh, a Tim Holtz label sentiment sticker. I did pop this one up to give it a little dimension. And it's a simple sending love. And just nestle that right in there underneath the butterfly. This card's very simple, but it's got the glimmer and the shimmer. And I think anything with that Heidi Swap little gumdrop gem sticker on it is just the cat's meow. Okay, not that yet. like, listen, you can make a million and one cards with this card kit. I couldn't stop. Cause I saw that flower bundle die which is what I'm using here. And I just had to give it a go. And I'm just die cutting with some solid color cardstock. I did do a gold little bow for the little, what is this thing that holds the bundle together? It, is it like paper, like a little paper cone that would wrap a bouquet? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna stamp a sentiment, a little scripty love you, which came out of the stamp set included in the kit. It's called Better With Mom, I believe. A little scripty love you and I'm getting the lay of the land. There's also some foliage and floral in the stamp set. I stamped one of the little sprigs of leaves. Now this is really cool. I like how this comes together because the little die cut sprig kind of coordinates with the stamp sprig. You following me? And then I die cut a few of the little floral blooms and bright cheery colors this would be a great may day you you ever celebrate may day back in the day i remember people putting flowers on people's doors on the first of may am i hallucinating i don't know but it'd be a cute mother's day card too and then there's a little tiny circle die in that floral bundle that it can die cut little centers for the flowers which i did out of the same color so it's not too distracting just a little bit of detail on the blooms and you got that gold bow you've got the cream and white nice I love the sentiment the font on that really cute and that's card number three so I cranked out three cards with this uh, Mother's Day card kit and you know I think I could do about ten more great products in this kit I hope you enjoyed this video Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.